there's a statement in in the movie that kind of happens a little bit about how capital will will uh will basically co-opt any aesthetic that we think is rebellious and so it's really more of a comment on the ineffectiveness of aesthetic rebelliousness you know like when it's just like oh this is the the badass i mean think about this like rock and roll is supposed to be badass because it's rebel it has this feeling like it's rebellious right like because it was at one point right Right. simply aesthetically rebellious and and maybe earlier than that it was rebellious in the sense that it came from black people and it was talking about things that were going on in that life but when it gets boiled down to just it being an aesthetic rebellion and it's different you can put any politic on there that you want and then you know so that rebellious aesthetic is of rock and roll is now more used to sell you cars than it is to do any damage to the state or to capitalism well, and yeah. it's not rebellious at all but we think of it as a rebellious aesthetic now the same thing with rap you know rap started yeah. out as you know guys in the streets you know uh we you know we couldn't afford instruments so we made our own with turntables and eventually it got a little polit- it got political with you know public enemy and, and groups like that and i, I just I, I i not that this is the subject i have to say i always disagree with that that origin story we couldn't afford instruments they it, it, in if they could in Alabama where people didn't have shoes in the 20s have instruments. Well, it's not, I'm sorry, you know, it's, it's, not, people it's, not, it's could, not so much well, the instruments, but I know during the, in the 80s, Reagan stopped the music programs, right? Like for a lot of the inner cities. Yeah. And so it weren't, it, it's not so much maybe the instruments, but just to be able to learn how to play these instruments. Uh, yeah. Like those no, I just, I, were, I, 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 yeah, I mean, that's a longer discussion. Sure. I, I, I think that's part of the, the thing. There were a lot of, uh, quote unquote hip hop pioneers that were trying to get money for lecturing at schools at the time when that sort of theory got pushed forward but I think that hip hop is more like about the history of black folks all over because people were rapping in the early 70s when I was in Detroit when I was in Detroit and we we did it to Hambone it had nothing to do with New York and when when Sugar Hill Game got something on the radio um, later on when, when I was in Oakland and it was being played on the radio me and somebody else were like oh they got a handbone song on the radio <laughs> and we, even without that anecdote you know when it came around to black communities nobody was like what is this newfangled contraption they call hip hop <laughs> it, was, it wasn't like this is new it was like this is us <laughs> And, you know, in the 60s, they had Pig Meat Markham, Here Come the Judge. It was a, it was basically the same style as those Sugar Hill Gang records. Right. Um, but there's this whole who put who put the peanut butter in the chocolate at what date in this uh, at this party in the sure. Bronx sort of discussion about it. And, you know, talk about any other cultural things like that. But, uh, but, but for, there was but a time anyway. though where rap was kind of considered, you know, at least among people who weren't black, you know, dangerous music, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and and no, and, I agree with that know, part of it. Have, I'm like, just saying know, as far as Dan me. Quill and his wife, and you know, uh, you know, these conservative Republicans going after rap artists because of their music and their yeah. their dangerous. Oh yeah, no, I agree and, with that. You know, I was just talking about just the yeah. origin of <laughs> like people being too broke to have no but you're right though i mean going, i mean you know rap went from that to you know hey look how much money i have you know look how many dollar bills i could throw at the strip club you know look at and and i also rap was that in the 80s too that's what we were listening to schoolie d autos run dmc that's what they used to rap about look how much money i got it's all it's been that it's not really like there was the safe old times and there's the new you know it's as long as we've been under capitalism you know blues talking about that stuff too you know right but i guess like, it's great because i'm from la like nwa for me like growing up was like they were pretty rebellious man like they were talking about things that weren't cool to talk about you know oh, about, yeah. about guys dying in the streets and definitely you know, stuff like that and you know like I, I just feel like that that voice got silenced somewhere yeah like that kind of you know street reporting i guess you could say in, in the hip-hop community 